It's Optimus Prime versus Megatron in the Armada universe. So let's talk Legacy or Legacy Evolution or Legacy United Armada universe figures or Transformers for the uh, Generations version. The main thing I've been asking myself lately is are these new animated or re-envisioned Generations figures based off of the animated uh, cartoons, the animated lines uh, of previous years still worth collecting. I'm talking about the Armada Universe uh, legacy figures. Are they still worth collecting? Now, given what we know and rumors circulating uh, about upcoming Armada Universe figures for the legacy line, do you guys think it is still worth collecting this line of generations figures or should we should I just go and save money and track down the original uh, versions of these Armada figures because as we've seen uh, in the past year Hasbro has had a lot of hits and misses with their generations versions of the various uh, figures from previous cartoons like the animated line or robots in disguise or even uh, Transformers Prime and you know I guess you'll have to agree with me that some of these figures are more misses than hits and I find myself selling off uh, several of these uh, legacy figures from those lines and just keeping and tracking down the original versions uh, The same is true for the Armada figures, but the Armada figures I think are probably the only uh, reincarnated uh, cartoon figures that sort of somehow Improved on the original the Optimus Prime definitely is a huge huge improvement uh, from the original Armada Optimus Prime, which was very gimmicky. Didn't have a lot of articulation. This one has more articulation, there's more detail, but doesn't have the gimmick. The Megatron, on the other hand, is somewhat of a disappointment, and at the same time, a triumph, in my, in my opinion. I think the figure just looks spectacular. I love posing it, but it doesn't have the quality, the kind of plastic that this figure has, and it doesn't have the weight, the girth. And yeah, it's missing the lights and sound gimmicks, the rocket firing gimmick. This figure, the original Megatron figure, I believe is a lot more enjoyable as a toy, but as a collectible, the new Legacy uh, Armada Megatron definitely is the winner. So I'm a little torn because I've already sold off my Legacy Armada Starscream and Legacy Armada Jolt. You guys know how I feel about those two figures. They were certainly not 100% in my book. And I'm beginning to think that the upcoming figures are probably going to be more like Starscream and Jolt rather than Optimus Prime and Megatron. Now, we've also been hearing rumors and some leaks that can you imagine this guy, Tidal Wave, they're actually thinking or they're planning a releasing a legacy version of this figure in, well, as a Titan class figure. Can you imagine this thing as a Titan class? Well, sure, yeah, that would probably be a better scaled, a better scaled figure because Obviously, it's a battleship aircraft carrier plus, I don't know, Thunder Sub or, <laughs> I don't know, some weird uh, Star Trek, Star Wars appendage that you attach to an aircraft carrier. And obviously, this thing has to be big to scale properly with the vehicle modes of these two guys. But I was actually expecting not just maybe a huge leader class or maybe a commander class to merge with this legacy uh, Megatron, but they're thinking a Titan class. They're actually planning, not even thinking. It's a, there's a listing for a Titan class tidal wave. Can you imagine a huge, as huge as Metroplex or Omega Supreme combining with this figure? The whole idea sounds very epic, but practical wise, I mean, do you, are you really gonna just play around with something that huge? Sure, maybe some of you will, but for me, I'm kind of uh, having a little bit of a... I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do that. And also, the rising costs of these things, if this is really going to be a Titan class, 
I guarantee here in Manila, it's going to go for at least $300. Nothing lower than that. I Maybe if you get it on a pre-order, maybe lower, but it's I'm pretty sure it's going to retail for $300 at least here in Manila. And it, it's going to be a crazy price. And I, I'm not sure I'm gonna, I, I, I want to get something like that just so I have add-on and you know for megatron because obviously i'm not completing the line anymore um, i think i'm happy with the original versions these are pretty solid ones that have really amazing gimmicks but who knows right uh so i wanted to ask you guys um what do you think uh, of these new re-envisioned uh generations uh, legacy armada figures or from the armada line they're trying to give us more collectible figures do you think it's still worth collecting or you think i should just do away with these things like what i did with my shattered glass collection with my beast wars collection and just focus on uh the g1 generations figures because I'm pretty sure I'm keeping Optimus Prime. Him, I'm not sure. One of the reasons I'm hanging on to him is I kind of want to see what that Titan class tidal wave looks like. And if I end up buying that one and I don't have this guy, what's the point, right? So it's a small issue, I know, for a lot of you. So for some of you, the answer is pretty clear. But I want to hear from the rest of you. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Just chime in. Let me know what you think of what Hasbro's doing uh, with the Armada uh, figures, that they're re-releasing them as Generations figures in the Legacy line. And let me know what you guys think overall of what Hasbro's doing with the previous animated lines, the, the previous cartoon lines like Prime, uh, Armada, Animated, Robot in Disguise. I mean, they're re-releasing those figures in Generations format. Let me know what you guys think. you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's still worth collecting these things? Or are we just better off just tracking down and using the money or using the funds to get the original versions of those figures? Or do you think a combination uh, is more appropriate? Like, for instance, um, maybe I can, I can keep the original Megatron, but keep the new Optimus Prime or uh, may, maybe keep both uh, animated Prowl figures or I don't know. Let me know if you if you think one, you should just go with Legacy, go with original or go with both. So that's about it. Uh, didn't mean to stretch this video that long. Uh, I just wanted to start a discussion, maybe do a little informal survey. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. As always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.